My advice is to put on a swimsuit and then put on a pair of rain boots and then over all of that, put on your snowsuit. And that way, you'll be ready for everything. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So dressing like that is what you need to do in Pennsylvania because we have had snow. We had eight inches of snow, we had sleet, we had freezing rain, we had rain. And at one point in my vehicle while I was driving during a torrential downpour, I was like 57 degrees, literally 57 degrees. So I don't even know how to dress at this point. Even today being out, the weather's all over the place. But it's just part of being outside, it's part of the environment. And with all that said, you're you're gonna come across different weather scenarios while you're out. And one of the big things when you come across these weather scenarios is when you get back home, how to take care of your gear. Our number one asked question at info at Colecracker about our equipment is how do I treat and take care of my oil cloth when I buy it? That might be a backpack, that might be a poncho, that might be a tarp or a shanty shelter, any of those things. How do I take care of my oil cloth and keep it clean? So that's what I'm gonna talk about. All right, so oil cloth, care, what you should be doing with it. Oil cloth is a very low maintenance type of material. You don't really have to do that much with it. There's a lot of scenarios people make up in their heads and they have to do all this stuff, but here, I'm here to tell you differently. With oil cloth, there's only really two things you need to do. Number one, you need to make sure when you're done using it, you let it dry out really well. Now that water that is on the tarp or that feels like it's in the tarp and soaked in is really just surface water. You just gotta let that dry out. If you don't, you're gonna get mold and mildew in your tarp as it's packed away. As with anything, else. So if you do open up your tarp and you accidentally left it wet when you put it away and you see that mold and mildew, you're going to take a damp rag and you're gently going to just wipe all that off and then just let it air dry and that will take care of it. That mixture that makes up oil cloth, okay, is going to be a protective barrier from it actually getting down into the cotton and stuff like that. So you'll be good to go with it. So just make sure that you dry out your oil cloth every single time. Now as far as cleaning it because there's some mud and dirt on it, once you dry out your oil cloth after a trip, all of that mud and dirt is generally gonna dry out also and you're just gonna have dirt laying on top of the tarp. So I suggest getting a very, very soft bristle brush and lightly rubbing it or just shaking the tarp out and that will knock off that dirt. If there's a little bit of dirt that seemed like it stained the material or it's just like it's stuck in there, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's better to just leave it there. You're gonna be using it outside again anyway, so don't go scrubbing and doing all kinds of stuff to it, that can actually take that protective coating off of the oil cloth and start to ruin it. Now the oil and oil cloth um, during the summer months and during heat, if say you keep it in the back of your car, is going to get very wet looking. Do not remove that stuff. Like don't get a rag and start trying to wipe all that excess oil off thinking something's wrong. It's just that the wax and petroleum based mixture that makes up the oil cloth itself is getting hot. So as soon as it cools down, it will go back to normal, okay? And that's the same as if you have your shelter set up, really hot day in the summer and the sun's beating on it, it's gonna feel wet. Don't start trying to wipe stuff off, just let it go. Once the temperature drops back down, it will go back to normal and will be fine. Now, if you you do see that wetness on and you think, hey, a storm's coming, I, I, it's, it's, it's not gonna be ruined. As soon as the water hits it, it literally just locks it back into place and it's good. So again, it's low maintenance. You just have to know these few things. And now with all that said, some of this stuff you can probably draw some conclusions to, but I'll tell you anyway, that's, you're not gonna ever wanna scrub with a hard brush. Your tarp, that can damage it. And you also never wanna throw it in a washing machine. Washing it is going to definitely ruin your tarp or your oilcloth items, so you don't ever wanna do that. And then finally, retreatment. Do you ever have to retreat your oil cloth? I personally don't think you ever have to do this. Um, the mixture that is put on the cotton to make it oil cloth is saturated through the entire cotton fabric. So there's really no reason that you should ever get to the point that you're like, hey, this needs to get retreated. Um, it is gonna get become a lighter brown color over time from use, but even then, over years of use, that thing is still gonna resist water and work really well for you. And I could show you some examples here in a minute 
of just old tarps we've had covering firewood for years now and they still resist water and they're fine. So here's some oil cloth and I'll zoom out here in a second, but this stuff you could see, look, it's still holding water and it's been out here for years and then the back side of this is still dry. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing, look at that. This is definitely abused. Um, this, these are old shards and, and messed up parts in years, but look at that. So we have a couple drips on the inside from, you know, just moisture getting up in, but still dry. And this, like I said, has been outside for years now and it's still holding up really, really well. You see where it gets discolored and stuff like that, but um, listen, this stuff works great. All right, so there you go. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe down below. You can also check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com for all of our oil. We make a ton of oil cloth stuff. Tarps, shelters, ponchos, backpacks, all that good stuff. Very fun material to use and take out with you. Also very robust and reliable. So definitely go check that out. And then until the next video, stay in the woods.